see that? Absolutely just built every single bit of tea. So we have the same issue because we've both got the same good side. So, so I'm going to have to like... Hello. Hi. Hello everyone. What's going? I hope you're all doing well. So we are joined by the most special guest. <laughs> we've got Miss Sophie Lee in Hi. the building. So we're going to do a Never Have I Ever because when I tell you this girl is the funniest girl. <laughs> I have ever met. This video is about to be so funny. Like I, I already know it. We went oh. through we went through a couple of them before. Are you ready to spill the tea? It is hot it and is hot. hot <laughs> wow. So we're gonna do another have I ever. I've not done one of these videos in a while, but we've got some vodka. We've got the vodka at the ready. Oh. This one is Echo Falls Summer Berries. Do so you it's even, not like taste up really so like, Yeah. Like, Smell. <laughs> I've just done it. I can't wait to ruin my life. My mouth just salivated. <laughs> so, the aim of the game is we've got some questions on Instagram. Well, not questions, but like never have I ever's on Instagram. If we've never done it, then we can say we've never done it. If we have done it, then we take a shot. I'm actually going to be drunk because I feel like I've qu done quite a lot of things in my 22 years of life. <laughs> now I wish I never left the house. Well, <laughs> funny story. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be... Right. Okay. okay. Let's go. With... Okay. Never have I ever fancied a friend's man. <laughs> mm. Right. No. I've never fancied a friend's man, but you can appreciate when someone's yeah. looking. Yeah. Right. If I came to Mars tomorrow... And I went, he's a keeper, isn't he? He's a good guy. Yeah, that's And if she you... said to me, nah, I've clapped. I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got... He's got to be attractive. Of course, then you're like, yes, my girl. Yeah. You did good. I mean, good. me and Soap have very different types. Yeah, I think. thousand percent. But I can still appreciate a good-looking guy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've ever fancied one. Like, been like, oh my no. God, I wish you were mine. No. Never. But I've been like... You two are because beautiful. As soon as even if you started talking to someone and you were talking for four hours and then you was like, nah, I would never go Same. there. Because that's that's all you. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's yeah, all you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say never. Never. But you can appreciate a good looking guy. Yeah. I will say that. It's like girls. I will never be that bitch that is like, mm, when I know a girl's pretty. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not the jealous type of No, I always be like, wow, you're no. beautiful. We wanna like hype women up, yes. <laughs> okay, never have I had <laughs> Oh my god. Left a group of friends in the club. I have, so I'm gonna have to shot. I do it all the time. I haven't because I'm always the last one to go. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie's always the last one standing and I love it. Like oh, she, you like... don't go out a lot, but when you go out she goes out. Like she goes all the way out. I wish she means last one standing, she means last one on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Like them mopping yeah, me off the floor. Yeah, we'll still be on the floor like... Yeah, like, <laughs> like the lights are on, the cleaners are out, they're mopping <laughs> you like... Come. I don't think we've ever had a night out that's not been dramatic or entertaining. <laughs> so, I have... Right, let me tell you the story real quick. <laughs> I have this habit of like, just leaving. Like, I don't really but do it as much anymore. You don't do it with me. No, never. I never do it with you actually. But I just have this habit of like... When I feel sick or when I'm done and I know I'm drunk, I just leave. Like, I know it's such a bad habit, but I just get off. And there was this one time that I went in the toilet. This is so embarrassing. I got so drunk I fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep in the toilet. All my friends just thought, oh, it's mad. She's probably gone home. We, I thought, so we were going to another club. <laughs> they all left to go to another club. I was fast asleep in the toilet. Woke up, the club had shut. It's shut. And I was there like, what day is I'm it? there, texting Mads going, hope you got home safe. But really, I'm passed out in the toilet. So I am going to have to cheers to that one. Oh, fuck, that's quite a bit. <laughs> this is why you're a good person and don't leave. <laughs> We started off, so there was me, you, Rach Leary, Holly Boone, and Charlotte Fox. And we all started as a group. And then one by one, oh. we just kept going missing. So Rach was the first to go missing. Then Holly went missing. Yeah. Then I went missing. But then then went you home. went missing. Yeah. So that's why I was like, where are all my girls? I know, we just left one by one. So anyway, <laughs> that was a very funny night. I was out there. 
Okay, never have I ever got bored in text an ex. I mean, do you know those, those days when you just got oh, one? It doesn't have to be an ex, but like just someone you used to speak to. Oh, this is looking more I definitely have done that. I'm a bit scared. Wow, we've oh, got a Oh, my. Well, then. Right, we'll just sit. We'll just, okay, we'll just sit. Because you're, you're down in them. Do you know what I mean by last one standing? She's literally doing herself legless. It's only like, what, Wednesday? Thursday? It's only like, what, Professor John? <laughs> well, cheers. Cheers. Never have I ever stalked a guy. I mean, I wouldn't say I've stalked as in like, gone to his house. Oh no, not like, like, like Joe from you. That's what I mean, I'm not that. No. But I've stalked him on Instagram. I guess that doesn't really count. That's just research. Everyone does. I'm just doing background checks. That's like homework. Okay, yeah, I want to put that like down. That's safety check. I'm not going to be funny, but I'm not going to go, go like, no. Oh, yeah, you're going to date someone and not look at their Instagram. Exactly. No, I guess I've, I haven't like, stalked someone like gone to go and i not be like so how was your holiday in 2015 and i heard <laughs> egypt was banging what i because i was there just me <laughs> that, that I, sunstroke looked I absolutely know, awful i know someone that that someone that did that what yeah and they like followed them on a holiday <laughs> <laughs> anyway I don't want to drink that because that is, I don't feel like a stalking because that's just me doing some health and safety checks. Yeah. We've always got to do the checks. You've got to do a CRB tech check. Mm. I mean, we're all a bit from MI5 anyway, so it's fine. I could have been in the MI5. I genuinely believe that. Never have I ever given someone a fake number. Listen, these men are scary <laughs> scary they're predators predators it's Listen, a jungle I don't out there be killed. Trust me. i hear these stories all the time where women reject men and then i feel like a vendetta yeah you can always get a sense of if a guy's scary or not but if i get scary vibes i will give you a fake number yeah of course i will give if you if i fake get number. vibes like he's very possessive already and i've only yeah. just met him or like then, just scary mm. vibes like if you sh shoot him down they will kill you or like i don't know <laughs> i don't know some guys are just weird man and this is why i'm single because i've literally given every single person a fake number <laughs> Ever have I ever been cheated on? Nah. Have you? I might take a big gulp for this one. Just as painful as when I it think happened. I got cheated on. So yeah, we did get cheated on. Just as painful as when it happened to be honest when I broke that. <laughs> I mean And that's the motherfucking tea. And that's the tea. <laughs> well then. Never have I ever looked through someone's phone without them knowing. I've never done that. I've never done that. I That's feel something like, I just want to do. Yeah, I feel like when you're in if a If you're looking for something, someone, exactly, then, then that you, is that's my when you point. need to just leave. Yeah, because if you're already looking, then you don't trust them. Never have I ever said I love you and not meant it. Oh, no, I don't Ooh. throw that shit around. I mean right, every so single time. Right, so I've said it where I thought I meant it, but it turns out I don't think I was actually in love. So I'm going to... Oh, although see, I, I thought meant I meant it. it, so does that count? Yeah, because you said it because you meant it. You did. The, what I think what that means is, did you say it because you felt sorry for someone, or did you say it because oh, you felt like you like, had to? Oh right. Do you know what I mean? For me, I said it because I wanted to, and that means for me that I felt it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm trying to think. I've never said I love you. I always say love you or whatever, but yeah. I love you. I do not say un unless I mean it. Mean it. Yeah, mean it. to a guy. Yeah. Because I say love you to everyone. Like yeah, you say like, like, like when you say goodbye to someone, I always say love you, bye. Love you, bye. Yeah. yeah. But if I, I say, love you. Like, I, I've only ever said, I think, I love you to my ex, looking him in the eyes, I love you. I think mm -hmm. I've said I love you to three people, but well, I said to one person. two of the times I thought I meant it and I didn't, I've only ever loved one person. Oh my God, this is getting very deep all of a sudden. Oh so I'm not going to shock because I feel like I did mean it at the time. Yeah. It's only if it's like a pity I love you. Like, like so they said I love you and you just say I just it, want like, to say it back. Yeah, no, I would never do that. Or like you're saying it to get something out of Yeah, no. no. See, I would always say like, I don't think I'm ready to say it yet. Never have I ever sent nudes. Fucking hell, if you haven't done that, you're boring. <laughs> <laughs> what you said? I meant I said lipsticks. Oh 
Right. <laughs> what, right. myself. Right. <laughs> Do you know what I've always said? I've always said even when I'm married and my husband's at work, I'll still like do that kind of stuff. I'll slide it in because it's yes. like, you keep, you the keep it spicy. Do you, do you know the song Heat? That is like, mm. what is it? This drink of you want heat. Like with my ex, my, if I've seen someone, if I'm like getting cozy with someone, yeah, and like I know them and I trust them, then you're gonna get a surprise and you're gonna remember who I am. Ooh, yes, we love a confident queen, of course, because I'm not even gonna like. You just need a little reminder of like what you got. Taking nudes is an art. Like cool. you gotta get them. You can't just be taking nudes in unmatching underwear or, or like a sock on. Oh yeah, or like <laughs> shit in the background. Yeah. It's gotta be sexy. You've gotta be the like, vibe. Yeah. Like, although I will say, quick warning: don't send them to random guys no. or like just anyone. Oh, maybe you like, yeah, your boyfriend. He's a hundred, or, like a hundred yeah. down for you. Either your boyfriend or you know he's gonna be your boyfriend. Yeah. But if you ever question it, you don't just it, throw them around. Right. Like, do you know, right? You need to make yourself unavailable. Prestige and unavailable, like prestige. That boy needs to know that he has got the prestige cream of the crop. Yeah, I think nudes are. They were. They, what is it like a wife? Oh, what is it like? Um. That is a privilege. Yeah, it's a privilege. That's what I mean. It's, it's a, a privilege. privilege to get it's a not nude. just. It's, you don't expect it. If you expect it, then I'm gonna send it to you. Yeah. I wanna send it to you when I wanna send it to you. Yeah. Not when you're sliding in going, babe, send me a nude. No, babe. Send nudes. Uh. No, babe. So put your little triple art sausage away. <laughs> oh, no. It. No. <laughs> Next. That is the privilege of you being my boyfriend of or husband. Because that's like a side of people don't see of me. Yeah. Whereas if you and do that stuff. you just slinging them around. Yeah, everywhere. no. If people already seen that side of you, there's nothing more of you that who give that he's yeah. gonna keep like coming back for. Yeah, you know? exactly. You've always got to be unexpected. Like it's got to be unexpected. Yeah, hundred percent. Mm -hmm. Never have I ever had a one night stand. I can actually, actually say never. 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 That's never. not my vibe. That's not, not my vibe. No, I, I don't even. I can... kiss. No, that's no, not no, my no, vibe. No. PDA is very like. Ooh. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Like I think, girl, go get yours if you're I'm not wanting to this. do that. I know. I know. I was like. But no, like I think you should go get yours if you want to go do that. Mm. Then that is so yeah, cool. It's just, like not my it's bad. just like I I'm just a very insecure bitch. Like Same. I just wouldn't. I have to know that person. Yeah. Before I can 100%. give that of myself. I'm a that's very a very person. personal thing for me. Yeah. I think kissing is a very personal thing for me. Yeah. Because it's so. In, it's like in spit. Would I always think like? Can you imagine this mean. person went in your mouth? Because that's basically that sounds disgusting, but that's basically what it is. Yeah. And like, are you gonna let a random guy in a club do that? Nope. Nah. And then you're gonna let like other people watch you do that? No. Nope. No. And then that guy might disrespect you and get with another girl. So. See. Mm. See. Mm. Honestly, I feel like me and Sophie always say, make yourself unavailable, unavailable because, because that makes you ten times more attractive. So I promise. More attractive. When a guy is unavailable to me and he's not doing everything and anything with everyone. That yeah. makes me so attractive. Do you to know him. what it reminds me of? Do you know like Mario Kart and like Mario the, the Wii game and stuff? Right, do you know Princess Peach when she's always locked away in a tower and they're all fighting to get her out? I feel like that's what it's like. It's like we're the Princess Peach, we're unobtainable, unaccessible, and all the guys start fighting and yeah. Nah, that bitch was just frigid. Period. Period. Um had a rebound relationship. No. To be fair, for you, I don't think it would be like a rebound. For you, I think it was like you thought you were ready to get move on and then. I think with. I think it was a rebound at first and then I actually grew to love him. Yeah, good. My ex. Oh, I was so heartbroken. And then after it, I had an accident. This is why I wear this. And then that's when I needed to concentrate a lot more of myself, mm -hmm. and that's where I found a lot of my self love. And I feel I yeah. think it happened at a horrible time, but the right time. Yeah, because I think I, I like would have had a rebound. comes at once, right? Yeah. Oh my god, so bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's so mad if it happened like that. Oh my god, I didn't know he just broke up with you before it happened. <gasps> Jesus. We met each other at a very like, we were very fragile in our lives. Yeah. And I think. At that point as well, when you're in a fragile place, it can either people can 
most people can take advantage of that yeah but if we found each other and we didn't we just nurtured each other into loving ourselves again if that makes sense we did Mm-hmm. I feel like we've healed each other in many ways. Oh, definitely. Because I just broke up with my ex, yeah. and yeah, it was just like the perfect. Mm. You know, it was just, just perfect. Mm-hmm. Told someone they look nice, or you like their outfit when you don't. Oh, I'm gonna have to drink. Yeah. The to. only way I would ever say I liked an outfit if I didn't is if they're already out and they can't change. Because or, then they're just gonna feel like shit all night. Or it's if a person comes up to me and goes, Oh my god, I'm so excited, look at this, it's so nice, and I'll be like, I'm yes. not gonna say like Ugh. Oh no. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But if, if they're like unsure of the outfit and they're like, Do you like this? Then I'll be like, No. Do you know what I mean? Like I'll say it in a nice There's way. There's times like, where I've worn something before a night out and we're getting ready and I'll say, do I look okay? And she's like, oh no, maybe change this. And I appreciate that so yeah. much. Uh, yeah, you do. Because you don't put me down. You just say, maybe wear this. Yeah, and then you try yeah. it and you've been like, yes. Yes. That's but what like, I mean. But with the friends that put you down and no, then just say, no, like, uh, yeah, no. You, there's a way of doing it. But Never have I ever had a wardrobe malfunction on a night out. Oh, every every single time I go out, I'm like a walking Bambi. Literally, if my nipple does not show face <laughs> thrice in one night, I mean... It's not been a good night. It's not, it's not. No, I've either. broken heels on nights out, I've broken oh, straps. Yeah. Oh I've my broken. God, the word. I remember, I tried to fix a strap with a plaster. Did it work? No, because I tried to stick the strap with a plaster. So yes, I d- Oh wait, we need to drink. Cheers. Oh, dear. It like repeats itself. I know. Oh. The berry makes it taste a little bit better. But then the aftertaste makes it horrible. Vile. Who are these people asking these questions? Because surely if you're asking these questions, you've done it yourself. And that's the real thing. You're just trying to feel normal again. Yeah. So I get it. So I see you guys. I see you. So that we, we've answered a good couple there. So we're going to leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to get soap on the channel again. Because I feel like you're just going to love her as much as I do. Uh, that is the tea. Yeah, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!